Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, so I thought I'd upload a few videos <clears throat> of you know, like three, four minute minute videos, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit less. There'll be like a series of these things that I'll do, um, and they're really just like small insights or tips as to how I felt when I was drinking, um, and how I kind of made the transition. Um, and rather various bits and bobs and just sort of set up my camera here. I've got a very technical setup. I'll show you a picture of this at some stage. Um, but I'm in my bedroom at home at the moment on this current um, coronavirus lockdown thing, which I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of that because uh, that's an entirely different subject totally. But um, so who am I? <clears throat> I want to sort of give people a little bit of a background about me. Um, I, at the age of 40, um, had a glimpse of my mortality and realised that I had a drink problem. Um, I'd been drinking for years and in the back of my mind, like the subconscious, I kind of knew that I had, well I did know, I did know that I had a drink problem. But amongst other things, I, it was it was almost like a, a momentum building that got me to the point when I hit 40, which is a bit of a milestone birthday, as we know. I realised that I needed to start changing shit. Um, but it all really happened when my wife got pregnant and I realised that I had to, I really had to sort of sort myself out. I didn't want to, I didn't want my son growing up seeing me like this and it was no longer just about me. Um... So I gave up drinking um, and I also went vegan because I had some serious health issues. Um, I was severely overweight and I mean, I couldn't even walk up a flight of stairs without sweating. Um, I couldn't wear a jumper without sweating. I um, couldn't walk down the road without sweating or working. I was sweat like it. I had heart issues, I had all sorts of things that were going on, like problems with my feet and like inflammation problems. And and when these things happen, you just kind of think, ah, oh, you know, um, this is normal. But fucking, it's not normal, you know, like as someone of age of 40, still it's not old. And I kind of came into the realisation that it was all due to the way I was living um, so I hit rock bottom um, and it really took for my wife to get pregnant for me to realise that I didn't want to be that person for my son. I was going to become a dad and I didn't want to be that person for my son. So I'm 44 now, so four years on. So I've got a, I, uh, I've got a few years under my belt. I've been three years clean of al no drinking alcohol and... Um, I've now decided after three years really clean, um, I've decided that I want to help others. So I'm going to be uploading these videos. There's going to be uh, quite a few. Um, there's going to be pretty basic content um, to start with until things start to change and I start to get some more views, etc., etc. Hopefully I will um, because I know that there are a lot of people out there that need to listen to these. Now, they're going to be, be doing the alcohol series, um, but I also feel pretty passionate about consciousness and veganism, health. Uh, there'll be some stuff on, on a lot of stuff on men's, men's work as well. When I say that, I mean around brotherhood, masculinity, but how men are looked at um, and how I believe the way men should communicate with the world of the people around them and the world they're in. So there'll be a series on all these different things. But I'm going to start with the alcohol series and I'll be uploading some videos about that. So hopefully you'll enjoy them and you'll tune in. Um, big love, guys. I, uh, I look forward to talking to some of you and um, I'm excited to see if we can start a dialogue and um, chat around this because... Uh, I really do think that it's uh, an important subject and something that's real close to my heart and I want to help others 
uh, get out of that that horrible roundabout of self sabotage and um, horrible fogginess that you have when you don't know where to go. So let's start the conversation, guys, and uh, look forward to talking to you. Big love.